sure glad Dad brought us to India, T-Bob. Look at that guy laying on the nails. He can't even feel it. Big deal. I can do that easy. It's just a magic show. It's not really a magic show, T-Bob. This Shiva festival is part of India's culture. Look, a uh, dancing rope. If Dusty had that kind of rope, he'd be able to lasso a lot of cows. How's he doing it, Alex? I don't know. The rope is usually tied to a treetop, hidden from view. Hey, Scott, I dare you to climb it. Go ahead, lad. I doubt if you'll go two inches before the rope collapses. Watch out! My cobra is loose, and my flute, it flies like a bird! Oh no! Out of the way! Excuse me! Please, out of the way! Hurry! Oh, that snake sure liked whatever that flute was playing. With this new tractor, Mr. Subas, you'll be able to know your soil composition and seed distribution with the touch of a button. No guesswork. Good crop yield every season. I thank you on behalf of the Indian people, Mr. Tracker. Many empty stomachs will now be filled. That's why I call my new tractor the Horn of Plenty. I thought the festival lasted till sunset. It turned out to be a limited engagement. You should have seen it, Dad. A king cobra followed this floating flute and scared everybody. Uh, and Scott climbed a rope that went straight up in the air. Wait a minute. Floating flutes, uh, running cobras? Alex? Well, not that it makes any sense, but a fakir somehow did the genuine Indian rope trick. At the same moment, a flute went winging through the air, luring a cobra from the festival. Then as soon as the cobra left, the rope I was climbing went limp. Sometimes the eye does not behold the truth. I think I can still catch the curtain call, and maybe Mr. Subas can help. You're never going to make the noodle climb into the air. No, I did it! Scott, I charmed a worm. Looks like you lost your charm, T-Bob. <laughs> he says he doesn't know what's going on, but his snake supposedly has value to the gate of darkness. Gate of Darkness? That's the ancient memorial dedicated to the Indian kings of long ago. But the Gate of Darkness is lost in the jungle. Wonder why anyone would be interested in the old place now? Easy. There's a legend to the gate that it holds a jewel-studded, solid ivory throne that was used by the ancient kings. If it exists, it would be priceless. Ta-da! Presenting Scott Tracker, the world's greatest fakir. You don't need a flute to move this rope, T-Bob. You need a whole orchestra. I don't get it, T-Bob. It worked fine earlier. The rope doesn't have much of a backbone. It's hollow. Mmm. <gasps> High-tech hydraulics. The rope is driven by the hydraulics. But that doesn't explain the flying flute. Then perhaps if we can find the gate of darkness, we'll have our answers.
Somebody's got to get that thing's attention or we'll never get the information we need. I'm a real charmer. I'll do it. Good thing I played the flute for the rope trick. You would have never diverted the spectators. Yeah, Dagger. You sound like you're stepping on a weasel's tail. Shut up! We're out to steal a jewel-loaded ivory throne, and you guys are giving music critiques. You're driving me nuts with this thing. Snakes are deaf anyway, you idiot. They are. Sorry, I won't do it anymore. I got it. I drew it. OK, Rembrandt, I hear you. Now let's move it. This ancient map will lead us to the Gate of Darkness. Hey, where'd you get that? It was simple. I went to a gas station and I said, I'd like one map to the Gate of Darkness. Really? How much did it cost? You ignoramus. I stole it from a tribe in the Himalayas. Now let's go. Just think, T-Bob. We're on a real Indian safari. Well, safari, so goody. It was nice of the India Department of Records to let us borrow this. Yes. If we can combine our modern technology with the ancient info on that map, maybe we'll come up with the location of the gate. I'm picking up rather curious magnetic activity in the area map. I'll lock in on its frequency. Whoops! That looks like the flute that floated away from the festival, Dad. The flute's magnetized. There's only one group with equipment sophisticated enough to do something like that. Venom. So, they're behind this mysterious floating flute. They've got to be after that legendary throne. With Venom involved, that ivory throne has to be more than a legend. It's time to call in the team. Scan the personnel files for the mask agents best suited for this mission. Alex Sector, Bruce Sato, pre-selected. Personnel selected, Brad Turner, motorcycle and helicopter pilot, vehicle code name Condor. Piloting skills could be an asset for the mission. <laughs> Buddy Hawks, master of disguise, intelligence expert, vehicle code name a firecracker. Vehicle could be valuable in jungle terrain. Hey, oh, wait a minute. Whoa! Personnel approved. Assemble Mobile Armored Strike Command. Looks like they celebrate the Shiva festival everywhere in these parts. Matt, look out! Everybody okay? At least for the next 30 seconds. We're okay here too. <laughs> if the heat reaches our fuel tanks, <coughs> we've had it! <coughs> it's going to explode! Oh, we're gonna get <coughs> We'll put Rhino back on its feet. Bruce, use lifter. Reflect off the ram. Right. <coughs> Man, lift up on. Looks like we were the main attraction at the festival. At least for a few seconds. Yeah, but the spotlight was too hot for me. 
The gate of darkness has to be near here. I can just feel it. I don't see anything. Are you sure this gate of darkness isn't just some old wise tale? Hey! Who turned out the lights? Your lights have been out since you were born, idiot! Huh? I hit something! I can't believe it, Tiger! You just crashed into the gate of darkness! I did? I always knew I was an important part of our team! Face it, Dagger. You're lucky you made second string. We've got to be narrowing in on the gate of darkness, guys. Or we're getting good and lost. The map's so full of squiggles, Dad, we can hardly read it. Those squiggles, Scott, are ancient Indian writings that mark roads and pathways to the gate. How about it, Alex? Any light at the end of the tunnel? According to the old map, we're on the sacred path of the kings. It should take us right up to the gate. It opened the gate just as I suspected. Follow me! Amazing! Look at this stuff! Just waiting all these years for me to take! Amazing! Soon it will be my turn to be king. One of you monkeys get that throne. But I, uh, I'm afraid of heights. Get going. Why me? Move it, dagger! is supposed to be full of valuables. Let's clean it out! Wow! This place is ancient! Yeah, it's even older than your dad. What's worrying me is I don't see any way into it. A house has many doors. Right, Bruce. We'd better analyze the entire structure on the computer. Maybe we'll jolly will find a welcome mat. Matt? What's the readout, Alex? A negative. The gate appears to be closed like a tomb. That makes sense. We're dying to get in. Hey, you guys. Me and Buddy are about 5,000 feet straight overhead. Never saw a rhino in India before. And your timing couldn't be better. Did you get my briefing on the gate of darkness? Every word of it. Good. We're looking for a way into the place. I need a video scan from top side. Let's get a top angle on the computer. What do you make of it, Alex? You're not going to believe it, but what you're looking at is the scale pattern on the back of a king cobra's head. I've handled enough of them to know. That's the same type of snake that followed the flute away from the festival. Venom wasn't after the flute. They just used it to steal the snake in order to find their way into the gate. Brad, buddy, we've got the info we need. Do a trans drop and meet us here. Hey, Brad, look who's here. Matt, 
This is Brad. We spotted the Venom vehicles. They must be near the entrance, guys. Moving in. You two stay put. I mean it. Hmm. That's all of them, Mayhem. Now, let's get out of here. This diamond-shaped rock corresponds to the projection on the cobra's hood. It should be the entranceway. Matt! Viper on! Not a very cordial welcome. Ultra flash on! Whoa! <laughs> Tie the throne on the switchblade. Make it fast. Fred, use Condor and air mode. Keep Venom's chopper corralled so we don't lose the throne. Keep them busy till I get the throne out of here. You know what I love to do, Venom? Fly like a daredevil. You must be crazy, man! It, Mayhem. Just head on back to your friends. I've always wanted to get my claws on you, Mask. This guy's attitude really grabbed me, man. Yeah, it'll do in a pinch. <laughs> I think it's time to cool Venom off. Buddy, see if you can snatch us a throw. Here's one quick way to untie knots. Go! Lift up on! You may have the throne, man, but you'll never defeat my seat of power! Oh, wait a minute! A robot's before boys! Since when? The kings that sat in this throne weren't robots. I know, but I'm T-Bob the first. <laughs> okay, T-Bob, but make your reign short, or Prince Scott is gonna cause your overthrow. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that Tarzan movie we just saw makes me want to climb a tree. But T-Bob, you're not built for climbing trees. But I am. Watch this. Hey, you're climbing too high. If you fall, you could break your arm or your leg or even your neck. Yeah, you're right. Climbing too high is dumb. Hey, Scott, take a look. I am too built for climbing trees. T-Bob, that's a shrub. <laughs>